I've got something I think you'll enjoy. All right, what you got? <laughs> this is a Honeycrisp apple bitten by none other than King Henry S. B. Dickleton of the early 1500s. We kept this family heirloom in perfect condition for over 400 years, so we're just looking for somebody as passionate as we are uh, when it comes to its importance and its upkeeping. Oh, okay, uh, how much are you looking for? Well, uh, taking into account its condition and, and its rarity, yeah, I think that 5,000 would be a good place to start. Okay, yeah, uh, let me just call my Henrius V. Diggleton Honey Crisp Apple guy and uh, we'll go from there. All right. Hello? Yeah, I don't mind waiting five minutes, it's okay. All right, see you shortly. Good evening, gentlemen. I actually graduated Stanford with a PhD in research between humans and apples and I took a minor and history revolved around uh, Henry S. B. Diggleton. So if there's one thing I know, it's Henry S. B. Diggleton and apples. You mind if I take a look? Yes, please be careful. Thank you. Mm. Omar, did you look? Yeah, that's good apple. Yeah, yeah. So we knew that Henry's had great taste in apples, so this was a good sign. You see, no. Also, let's not forget it was well known that he lost his molar in the War of 1634, so all these bites include molar, is what I'm getting from this, I taste molar. Mm, okay, so I'm getting slight, a slight tuna aftertaste, let's, let's remember that, yeah. that, that Henry has yeah. never liked tuna, he was never...